Okay, guys, so welcome to the episode of Storage Legends. We've been honestly working on, you know, loading up the truck for about four hours now. I'm just trying to, like, I do have this gasoline can, and we're in a predicament. I don't know if my truck's going to start. I'm going to try to start it again right now. It's, it's not wanting to crank over. I don't think I have a bad starter, nor do I think I have a bad alternator. So I do believe that um, I might have, I might be out of gas. I don't know. Check this out. When I put my key in, it's reading like it has, you know, battery. But right here, my, my gas tank looks like it's full, though. I'm telling you, my guy, I have gas. I know I have gas. No. I feel like I have gas, man. I might not have gas. Who knows? I don't think so, though. I think I have gas. It doesn't want to turn over, though. Man. Well, after about another 20 minutes of charging the battery, I have not had any luck or any access to fix the box truck this kind of sucks guys we're gonna have to figure this out all right so we should so we're officially using an antique uh gas can right now because we couldn't find a gas thing in the water house. So we got exactly 0.8 of a gallon just to see if that's the reason why my box truck's not starting. All right, so we have a gas can from the 1800s that's been giving us a lot of trouble. Let's see if we can finally work this. It actually is working, but we're leaking a lot of gas in the meantime. Hopefully we have enough to at least figure out if gasoline is the actual problem here. My friends are making fun of me because I have an 1800s gasoline can. It's okay. It's okay, guys. Somebody around the world thinks that this is cool. This is how to waste gas 101, guys. It's a fire, that's how a to, fire hazard. Yeah, how to not. so nobody put any flames by that but at the end of the day i think we got at least enough gas to turn on the vehicle if gasoline is the problem so we did not get the van started i don't know why i'm calling it a van it's definitely a box truck so i'm just like kind of dumbfounded right now um, we gotta find a mechanic. Right, we're checking in. The fans? No. Say something to him. Everybody's asking about you. I got permanent gray hair. Check in with the fans, man. What do you want to say? Say hi to the world. First of all, hi, Chapel. 
How are you? I hope you're doing okay. You're, you're, you're one of my great people. And I want you to take care of yourself. Because I love you. Is that a message for Chapo? Yeah. Grandpa, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> Dude, I told you to check in with the fans, and you you went Chapo's route. What? <laughs> I know. Well, I love her. I love her too. All right, Grandpa. Well, we just got done eating a whole big master's pizza. That pizza probably brought you back to life. <laughs> <laughs> um, watching Spider Man, and uh, what you want to say to the world? Come on, man. These are important messages, man. Come on, Grandpa. What? Give me a statement for the world. Oh, my gosh. You're shy? Grandpa. Give me a statement for the world. The world's watching. It is? Yeah, what's the statement? <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe you, man. There's some statements, man, that are... They're not meant for the world or what? No, they're meant for the world, but they're not meant for the time. Alright guys, hopefully we'll get lucky today. We're back at it. Let's see if we can do it. Hopefully we're gonna get lucky. Let's see if the battery still holds. Okay. Oh yeah, see it's flashing, see. No. Nothing. I'm feeling good, I guess. Nothing. All right. So it's clear that it's not starting for some odd legitimate reason. I don't know. But we do have the whole entire truck filled with garbage. And we cannot accept no for an answer at this point. Because we would be insanely counterproductive. Which is not good. Um, so I want to focus on finding a tool inside the hoarder house to try to get the battery out. Well, guys, I still think it's the gas. I feel like... I feel like half a gallon is not enough to start a huge truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my friend go get a gas can, fill it up with gas because I can't find a gas can in this whole entire hoarder house. Can't find a gas can. We'll fill it up with gas. We'll put the gas in and we'll troubleshoot that before taking out the battery. All right, guys. So we got a huge gasoline tank and we filled it all in. We spilled a little bit, but not too much. It's judgment day right now. This is it. All right. <laughs> you hear that? It's like, let me keep back off. And then cycle back. We'll do that a couple It could be a battery. No. 
it'd no way. Be, uh, it'd have to be something with your ignition. It'd have to be like a coil or a spark plug. Yeah, spark plug? No, it's dying. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, it's definitely not the battery. Not the battery. Okay, next step is, do you have a uh, any starter fluid or a mister top? If you have a no, mister top. I, gotta, I, my, I was gonna bring, I was gonna probably take the, so it's not the battery. All right, sprayed starter fluid and the battery just died. So, and we dropped the socket. Really good corrosion. Really bad corrosion. Look at that. Ugh. That doesn't look good. But overall, this that doesn't sound good either. So hopefully this is a bad battery. Special. Yeah, old faithful just is not starting. Word. Yeah, and I'm hoping that it's the battery. Because if it's the battery, that's gonna be just a very easy fix. I could just buy a new battery from you guys and and I could just start my car, yeah. you know. It was real corroded when I took out the things too. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. The pack and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need another pack. Nice. Dang, it's even like got a ventilation system. That's pretty nuts. Yeah, this thing is this thing is cool. Oh my gosh, I really hope this battery is just bad, How man. I really side terminal things they screw in and come with the machine. No, uh, those are actually um, accessories that we sell over there in the corner. I think Come on. Oh, ventilation system stops. Two percent left. Hundred is in. Survey says. Yeah. Survey says. Ah. Oh. Says it's good. It says it's good. It's a good battery. So, uh, you are undercharged. I'd recommend just recharging it and testing again to see if see if yep. it's actually a good battery. Oh, 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 charging it again? Yeah, uh, we got just a fast see. charger. Um, yeah, can we just start on the charger? Yeah. Yeah, that's sweet. How long do you think it would need to charge? Uh, it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours. Ooh, yeah. Um, with it showing like that, it'll probably be closer to like 30, 40 minutes. Okay, what do you think? You have 30 minutes? Yeah, it's about 'Cause it could be raining quarters, I'll get hit with a penny. Put my battery for charge and you guys close the store. I talked to you. Yeah, you talked to me on the phone. Yeah, I don't know why. I was I was waiting for like twenty minutes, but there was no battery, but you said you charged the battery and it's now show you. Let me put okay. this on hold and then we'll yeah, get with sure. it. So. Vance Auto. Brian. Okay. Let's go down here, bro. Hey, it's, 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 it's no good. Yeah, it's no good. I, I'll just get another one. Okay. I mean, it's all good. Yeah, just hey, Brian, same side prong. This young man came by. It was closed last night. Okay. Uh, was it not supposed to be closed? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I thought. I, I didn't really, I, I didn't understand it, honestly. And another lady came over and she was hopping out the car and she's seen that uh, it was close as well, so she had to go as well. So, yeah, it said it said this right here. Well, no, there was another sign. There was a white a white sign right here. Oh, was there? Yeah, 
and it said uh, systems are down uh, management. And there was a white truck right there. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, these two these two cars were were there. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, there was no other cars in the parking lot. If that's valid at all. What year? Um, it's a 2000 Chevrolet Express 300. That's right. Yeah, I live in Lorraine, so I'm yeah. like, man, I gotta go all the way home, and I gotta pick this, I gotta pick this problem up, you know, tomorrow. What engine is it? Um, it's a V6 three or five. It's what? a V8, so it's a five seven. No, it's a it's a V6. It's also V6. You got the right year. Yeah, 2007 Lexus. We'll do th- we'll do five point seven. Is it v- no? It's gotta be a V6, no? Batteries, yes. It's a 78 series. <laughs> yeah, that's the battery. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're good. Yeah, I'll just get a new one. Thank God it's the battery, though, man. Just Did sucks you want the two year warranty one, silver? Uh, yeah. It's 179.99. That's fine. Yeah. Let me go for 78 one. Let me go. Uh... Yeah, so I guess the. I guess the auto parts store wasn't even supposed to be closed yesterday. Yeah, it was crazy. I brought my battery to get it charged and get it charged up. We come back about 20 minutes, an hour later, and the whole store is closed down. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, guys, so the battery was bad. And oh, buckle up, guys. Buckle up. So, the battery was of course bad, like I thought. So we bought another battery. We had to waste a day because these guys decided to close down the whole store. And now let's see if the box truck turns on. This is the absolute moment of truth. We got the battery in. We replace the battery. This is it. You ready? No way. No way. No way. All right. Yep. All right, here we go. We're going to spray it. Ready? There's no sparks. I got to change my spark plugs. Dude, what? Oh, my gosh, man. And we're playing, we're spraying starter fluid. What in the world? Not even going on starter fluid. Wow. Man, there's got to be something up, man. I wonder what it is, though. It's got to be the spark plugs. I just if you could disconnect the spark plug and watch the spark. Right. Make sure you're getting sparks from the distributor. That'd be my next step. I'd pull one of them spark plug wires off. Let's see if it arcs to a screwdriver. Where? I don't even know how to identify a spark plug. <laughs> oh, man. No. Probably six or eight of them, four on each side. Three on each side. But they're on the side of the block. Old Faithful, you are completely failing me. Well, guys, the deed is absolutely done. Um, I'll tell you the story. Here's the story. Uh, my grandmother has been in church. This is Abuela. My grandmother has been in church and has been a church. Put my seatbelt on. Hang on. My grandmother has been in church and has had church sisters since before I was even made. So she had a... Um, a very beloved friend of hers um, that got diagnosed with cancer and had a certain amount of time to live. Now, just to make the long story short, 
One of her last wishes was to have my grandmother take her to Puerto Rico so she could experience the Puerto Rican heritage, experience the whole Puerto Rican, you know, do, do the whole Puerto Rico thing. Um, anyways, the trip was successful. They did it successful. And, um, and her friend died about a month, month and a half ago. Rest in peace, Sister Elizabeth. Um, and one of Sister Elizabeth's last words uh, were to... So that my grandmother will to ask her last request was to ask my grandmother to treat her son and to and to love her son as her own while she's not on this earth. Uh, it's really emotional, very heavy stuff, guys. What I'm telling you is 100 percent super heavy. And if it wasn't for this story being already kind of marinated inside of me, it would it would probably choke me up a little bit, to be honest with you. It's so it's. It's a very, it's, it's heart, it's heartfelt. So anyways, I just met her son about two days ago. His name's Jason. He's actually on his way right now to go to Sandusky to see if he can fix my box truck. Am I in the market for a new house? Probably not. But I bought their house just because I knew that it would help Jason out. And I knew that sister Elizabeth would be looking down on this and not only would she be absolutely ecstatic that her best friend's grandson bought her old house, but she would be ecstatic that that void and that burden is lifted from Jason's shoulders. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another house. So what do you think? He's got here. Well, <laughs> get out of here! Stop this it! This is my first. This is my. This is going to be the house. It's very little, to say the least. It's a little, it's, uh, it's little. Huh? I don't understand how they left all the stuff. I mean, I'm going to clean it out. No, no, this is his mom. I mean, this is his mom. I mean. No, he don't, I, I, there's no, I mean, what do you mean? People leave stuff all the time. You know the hoarder house? You know how many people left all the stuff in the hoarder house? I mean, all these beautiful No. Mom, you have... My mom's not used to, like, storage legends or hoarder houses or anything. You understand that there's certain things you can't take. You can't hoard things. That's, I mean, where are you going to put all this stuff? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to think about how you could... Like, I can't even, like... I wouldn't even be able to estimate how many pictures and... And, oh, my God. I mean, you're talking, like... I'm talking, like cremations and birth certificates and diplomas and 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 uh and yeah but he took a tv huh no i mean no i mean i'm sure that there's a bunch of other things that were taken I, uh, when i die Andy, don't do this don't let somebody just come mom your house has nothing in it your house has nothing in it oh, I know, but I'm if if you were to die right now let's knock on wood there would be nothing to clean out. You would you would have your crosses on the wall. That's I'm that's what I'm saying. Right now. Like I got a lump in my throat. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Okay. 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 Microwave and a refrigerator steel. That's another what seven hundred bucks, maybe. I mean, I'm still gonna, you know, it's gonna take a little bit of cleaning out. So that seven hundred bucks would probably go to like a dumpster fee. But if I get the box truck running, which my buddy's gonna help me out doing that, then I'll be able to haul this all away for free. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff still I still have to clean out. I wonder if I could resell any of this. It doesn't look like any of this stuff is actually resellable, to be honest with you. It's a lot of papers and old, you know, old pill bottles, old, you know, medicine bottles and things like that. People have already helped clean out a lot. So this is cool. A little bundle of bundle of belts. There could be some cool belts in there. All right, check out the belts.
Yeah, there's just a ton of stuff. I mean, this is literally going to take, guys, a garbage bag. A pack of garbage bags. That's pretty much it. I mean, I did not notice the toilet paper. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then there's this room. Oh, wow. And then there's this room. Which there's definitely some tools that I could probably resell a little bit. You know, there's definitely some resale value, but I don't see anything that's like substantial. That's like, oh my God, guys, I'm going to get my money back. Like, no, but this was the investment, guys. I mean, this is it. I wanted to show you the full length. There's one bedroom, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, which this was also, I mean, in a sense, we got some hoarding here. There's definitely some hoarding here. It just needs clean. 100%. This is hoarding. There's a lot of like unnecessary, like, well, the, but then again, I mean... Who knows? I mean, who knows what they were doing? Who knows? There's a lot of tools, though. A lot of tools, a lot of planes. Like this right here is worth money. It's pretty cool. Nice. Not bad. I'm proud of myself. You proud of me? Of course, honey. All right. Of course. Well, nice. Nice. I think we did a good deed. Good deed for a very awesome family. They're very close to my family too as well. Oh, oh there you go. Nice. All right. That's going to be the episode, guys. Comment below if you think I made a good investment. Well, I didn't tell you what I paid for it. I guess that's irrelevant. Um, that'd be another thing. Yeah, that'd be another thing. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you when I clean it up. See you guys later. Okay, guys. So before I let you go, look at this. It says danger, rat trap set above the ladder. Oh my gosh.